Here we are, we made a few cuts with the bandsaw, so far so good, on to the next cut. See this kind of like the line here where the the gate pattern started. I came closest to it right here. Maybe even touched it. Um, but other than that, did a pretty good job. Um, like in the bandsaw, it's a. I probably would have made more mistakes with the angle grinder for sure and. Would have gotten frustrated and resorted to the angle grinder if I tried to do it with the hacksaw. If I'm honest, this is a little, a little less wild, and I'm really happy with how it's coming out so far. Next up, I gotta grind this off. I think I got the right tool for the job too. Oh. Of course, I lost the key for this thing. The uh, spanner, or whatever it's called. The flap disc, 60 grit. Get off, do the job for taking off that lumpy, that, that, that sideshow blob on the, the back of the plaque. Get on, oh, won't you? There we go. Get the exact right size clamp. Definitely want to put on some kind of eyewear. Alright, hold on to your. Should not put my cordless phone right in front of that blast.
This thing is driving me nuts. See if it'll sit flat. It's pretty good. Can you see that? Pretty much this flat against the table. There's no real gap there. I think it's good. And I'm just gonna shine it up a little. I did say I'd get rid of the packing tape. is good. looking on the back anymore see where the grinder went but this is the back after all who cares next step is to grind out the corners and the the edges hey, I'm hoping that the audio will be better on this new phone now that I've taken the case off it so if not I'm sorry but my old phone battery died anyway it doesn't like being out here in the cold Anyhow, this looks pretty good to me, but, you know, it's a little rough. Just a little. Some of that might be my sand. I'm not sure. But also, I think a part of it is that uh, the gating system on this thing was not quite properly pressurized. If you look at this sprue... I don't think it has enough taper to it. I think the turkey baster was sitting a little too low in the hole in the pattern before it's really started to taper down a bit more. So what I think I'm going to have to do is put something in the bottom of that hole so that this thing, not this thing, but the, what is it? Anyway, the turkey baster, which is what I use for a pattern for this, is a little skinnier where it meets this. I don't know if you could tell during the pour, but I was having trouble uh, keeping the sprue filled with metal. When I pour, I try to keep it, you know, full throughout the whole pour so that nothing, no air gets sucked down here. Nothing is splashing around. And that way the castings come out a lot smoother and cleaner looking. There's less chance you get dross forming inside the mold, so on and so forth. So things I would change, fill up the bottom width of it so that the sprue can only sit down in it a little, just enough to hold its place so it won't wiggle around. Or, I don't know, maybe line the inside with something. This is a half inch hole. I think it needs to be just slightly smaller uh, for best results. All right, so I got this table set. At about the same angle, I sent it the draft on the pattern. I'm gonna try and 
take off some of this flashing and gating a little cleaner. some dinner so still got a little bit of uh, sloppy stuff there Good. I got a little nasty stuff off there. It took more work than I thought. Okay. Now I gotta find a spindle. That's it for the, uh, the edges, I think. One hundred grit. I don't know how well it'll stick, but... Alright. Here's how we're starting out. Yeah. Mom needs help. Got called away for a minute there, but back to work on the six. I'm worried about the six because we got this little here, there's one here, there's one here. 
I may be able to just kind of take the corners of them down a bit with a Dremel or something. Not sure what I'm going to have to do. But I think they'll show up more once the, the background is painted. But I am going to worry about that stuff later. But right now, what I'm going to do is get these kind of basically shined up a little. Just so it'll be easier to wipe the paint off them. Okay. So, I've marked some holes for drilling here. A chunk of wood to stick underneath. Start with an eighth. Two holes. I wonder what size I should make them. Jeez. I never really thought about this before. Enough, it's going to be painted anyway. I'm just not fast enough at wiping paint off because it all dried and then uh, then I noticed that there were some little areas around the edges of the numbers that I missed didn't quite get covered so I just sprayed the whole front of it again and I'm gonna have to sand all the paint off those numbers and the and the border and the edges but as as we all know this video clearly already has way too much of at least three different kinds of sanding in it. So I'm not going to make you watch that. I'm just going to finish it up and then I'll come back and show you what the, uh, what the final finished plaque is going to look like. Here's where we got with little shreds of 100 grit sandpaper by hand so far. Um, there's still a little bit on the edges of paint that I haven't gotten all of it out. There's a uh, couple little, little dings here and there, bubbles. I'm not too happy about seeing. It's, this thing's going to stand out and bug me to no end. I'm not sure what to do about it. I might be able to sand it down a little deeper with a palm sander or something. Uh, maybe grind it out that way. Same goes for these guys. And there's little marks here and there on the other ones too that uh, the left side of this one these ones here those are I can't gotta try and do something about those I'm not sure what uh, this guy right here too um, I may try and just sand a little bevel on the edge to grind those out on the left edge maybe of all the numbers if it works out on the the six we'll see uh, but it's not gonna be anything that's going to be fun to watch, so I probably won't film any more of this plaque. Uh, I'm going to take my time sanding it up to higher grits and then spray some kind of sealer on it and send it off to my sister to see what she thinks. This is how I did it. Doesn't mean it's the right way, but yeah. If anybody wants to try this, I'd love to see what you can come up with. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, welcome to all the 
fellow internet weirdos who seem to be signing up lately just in the last few weeks. Um, I hope you know what you're getting into. Alright.